Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hashim Ali Khan. So, so far we have completed 37 problems on marginal costing. This is the topic under the subject managerial accounting. So I have prepared the video for theory on this marginal costing technique. What is marginal costing technique? How it will be helpful to the management? All these things and what are the different uh, I mean, methods available in marginal costing? All these things I have explained in the first video introduction. Hope my regular viewers have already watched the first video, got the good command. Now this is the last video on this topic of marginal costing. So a few more two, three problems will solve, then we close this chapter of marginal costing. So 38th problem I am reading out now. So before starting the problem, I expect my reader, reader uh, viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have provided in the link under my description. So before start watching the video, get a hard copy printout and be ready. And those viewers who are first time on my channel, I suggest you to visit the playlist of my channel. I have uploaded so many different subjects videos, financial accounting, advanced accounting, cost accounting, corporate accounting, then income tax, uh, business statistics, financial management, investment management, so many videos I have uploaded. Select your subject, watch the video, increase your knowledge have confidence on yourself by watching these videos now 38th problem i am reading out from the following particulars pertaining to abc limited which which manufactures three products find out break even point the new point in this problem is we are finding out composite to break even point composite to break even point means the bep of two or more than two products here in this company, in this problem, the company makes three products X, Y, Z. For each of the product, we are given the sales value and variable expenses. And lastly, total fixed cost is 5,700. So we are given the sales of each of the product, variable cost of each of the product and fixed cost, total fixed cost. The fixed cost will not be there for individual products. It is given in total, right? How to compute BEP? Now, see here. Total sales, I have added up the sales of the three products X, Y, Z. The sales of X 10,000, Y 5,000, Z 5,000, total 20,000. Total variable expense 6,000, 2,500, 2,000, 10,500. Total fixed cost 5,700. One simple formula I have given to calculate the BEP, F into S by S minus V. Different formulas are there for calculating BEP, but this is the very simple formula F into S by S minus V because we have fixed cost. We are given sales, we are given variable cost. So all the variables are given in the problem. Substitute. Fixed cost is 5,700. Sales are 20,000. And sales are 20,000, variable cost is 10,500. Now, 5,700 into 20,000 divided by 9,500. You solve it, 12,000 rupees is the break given point. Composite BP. That's it. Now, 39th problem. See the 39th problem. The following figures relate to one year's working at 100% capacity level of a manufacturing company. So fixed overheads are 1 lakh 20,000. Fixed cost 1 lakh 20,000. Variable overheads are 1 lakh. Direct wages 1 lakh 50,000. Direct material 4 lakh 10,000. Sales are 10 lakh. Represent the above figures on a break even chart and determine the break-even point. This is the first problem in which we have to make the break-even chart. A break-even chart is a graphical method of ascertaining the break-even point. So two methods are there for calculating BEP. One method is formula method. So far in so many problems we have calculated the BEP by applying a formula. Another method is there for finding out the BEP through graphic method on a graph paper without applying any formula by drawing the lines on the graph paper we can be able to get the break even point so that is called break even chart graphically finding out the BEP is called break even chart so there are some steps to be followed in finding in preparing the break even chart now I am going to explain it in detail so break even chart Fixed to overheads means fixed cost 1 lakh 20,000. 
वेरिएबल ओवर इट्स वन लैक डायरेक्ट वेजेस वन लैक फिफ्टी थाउजेंड डायरेक्ट मेटर फोर लैक टेन थाउजेंड टोटल वेरिएबल कॉस्ट इज सिक्स लैक सिक्सटी थाउजेंड राइट टोटल कॉस्ट टोटल कॉस्ट मीन्स फिक्स कॉस्ट प्लस वेरिएबल कॉस्ट The fixed cost is one lakh twenty thousand. Variable cost is six sixty. Seven lakh eighty thousand is the total cost. Now total sales. Sales are given ten lakh. Now scale. While drawing a BP chart, first of all we have to make a scale on x-axis and on y-axis. So whenever we make a break-even chart, we take the capacity or production on x-axis. And sales revenue and total cost on y-axis. Remember these points. These are the steps we want. We have to apply whenever we are making break-even chart. So on a graph paper, we have two axes: x-axis, y-axis. On x-axis, we take the production or capacity, and y-axis, we take the total sales revenue and total cost. Both will take on y-axis. So scale. On x-axis, we take one centimeter is equal to ten percent capacity, because in the problem we are not given production in units. If it is given production in units, we would have taken production in units on x-axis. But in this problem, we are given percentage capacity, so we take one centimeter is equal to ten percent capacity. One centimeter. So one centimeter, ten. Next centimeter, twenty, thirty, forty, up to hundred centimeter. So ten centimeters, we can be able to adjust hundred percent capacity on x-axis. On y-axis, actually, what is the total maximum sales? Ten lakh. So we cannot take one centimeter is equal to one uh, one one rupee. That means we have to take ten uh, lakh rupee, ten lakh centimeters. Not at all possible. In ten centimeter, normally a graph will be legible in ten centimeter. How one or two centimeter more or less it will do, but around ten centimeter. So what we'll do is, what ten lakh is there? Ten lakh divided by ten, you will get one lakh. Ten lakh divided by ten centimeter, you will get one lakh. That means one centimeter will take one lakh rupees. One centimeter, one lakh. So ten centimeter, ten lakh. Right. So y-axis we take one centimeter, one lakh. This is the scale. We'll take it on the graph. Now see the graph. This is the graph. Now y-axis. This is the y-axis. On y-axis I'm taking sales and cost. Sales and total cost. Rupees in lakhs. Lakhs consist of five zeros. Lakhs consist of five zeros. So one lakh means one five zeros. Two lakh means two five zeros. Three five zeros three lakh. So five zeros I have omitted. So one lakh two lakh three lakh four five six seven eight nine ten ten lakhs. So on y-axis, on x-axis I have taken the capacity production. We are given the percentage capacity. So here we are taking percentage capacity percentage. So ten percent, twenty percent. 10 20 30 40 50 60 60 up to 100% capacity on x axis now how to draw the lines first of all the fixed cost line will be parallel to x axis the fixed cost line is a straight line parallel to x axis how much is the fixed cost given in the problem 1,20,000 1,20,000 is the fixed cost so here see 1,20,000 here 1 Here point two, one point two. So one point two ke line pe straight line parallel to x axis. This straight line is called fixed cost line. This is called fixed cost line. Secondly, total revenue line, total sales line. At hundred percent capacity, how much are the sales? Ten lakh. At hundred percent capacity, the total sales are ten lakh. So here at hundred percent capacity against this hundred ten lakh ten lakh is here. This is ten lakh. So against this ten lakh over hundred percent put a mark. So this is the mark. This is the mark. At at what point that mark I have put hundred percent ten lakh ten lakh rupees are the sales at a hundred percent capacity. So here at hundred percent capacity. Above this hundred percent, against ten lakh, put a point, and from this draw a straight line to the origin. 
origin means this is the origin where x axis and y axis meet is called origin so draw a straight line from this point to the origin and this is called total sales line it is called total sales line now we have to make a total cost line what is the total cost here 7,80,000 at 100% the total cost is 7,80,000 so here 100% capacity against 7 lakh 80,000. See, this is 7, this is 8. I want 7 lakh 80,000. So 7 lakh 80,000 will be somewhere here. Somewhere here. 7 lakh 80,000. From here, I put a scale and draw a straight line like this up to 100%. This is the point. This is the point. I made a point here. Now draw a straight line to the point of intersection of fixed cost line to the point of intersection of fixed cost line this is the fixed cost line this straight line is the fixed cost line from here from here not from the origin not from the origin from the point of intersection of fixed cost from here draw a straight line up to here this is called total cost line remember total sales line will start from origin whereas total cost line will begin from fixed cost will begin from fixed cost now two lines i have drawn one line is total sales line the other line is total cost line and both the lines are intersecting at a point both the lines total sales line and total cost line both are intersecting at a point here p is the point p is the point where total sales line and total cost line are meeting are intersecting now draw perpendicular on x axis and perpendicular on y axis straight line from the point of intersection from p draw a dotted line to x axis and from p draw a dotted line to y axis now the perpendicular meeting point will give you BEP now this is the BEP in rupees this is the BEP in rupees this perpendicular line the point where it joins the point where it joins the y axis will give you BEP in rupees similarly the point which joins the x axis will give you BEP in units So we are getting BEP in units on x-axis and BEP in rupees on y-axis. This chart is called break-even chart. So we have completed problem number 39. Now we'll start the last and final problem, problem number 40 of this marginal costing technique. So totally 40 problems are more than enough for your preparations. Uh, now I'm reading out the last problem. 40. From the following information, draw break even chart and PV graph. In this problem, we have to draw two charts one break even chart, another second one PV graph, profit volume graph. So, I'll tell you how to make this PV graph. First of all, the information given in the problem fixed expenses 6 lakh, fixed cost, variable expenses per unit 10 rupees, selling price per unit 15 rupees. And the output is 4 lakh units. From this information, we have to draw two charts. Now, see carefully. First, we'll draw the break even chart. Fixed expenses 6 lakh, fixed cost. Variable cost 10 rupees per unit given in the problem. And how many units we are making? 4 lakh units. So, 4 lakh into 10, 40 lakh rupees is the variable cost. And the sales 4 lakh units into 15 rupees. It is given in the problem selling price per unit 15. So 4 lakh into 15, 60 lakh rupees is the total sales. And total cost, total cost means fixed cost plus variable cost. The fixed cost is 6 lakh and the variable cost is 40 lakh. So 6 lakh plus 40 lakh, 46 lakh. 46 lakh rupees is the total cost. Now scale. In order to draw the break-even chart, first of all, we have to make the scale on x-axis on a y-axis. 
Now see, normally a legible graph is made by taking 10 cm on x-axis and 10 cm on y-axis. It may be little bit more or less. It may be uh, more than 10, little bit more than 10 or little bit less than 10. But around 10, it's okay. The graph will be legible. So here, on x-axis, we take the units. We take the production. So here in this problem, the units are 4 lakh. 4 lakh units. Now 4 lakh units we have to adjust in 10 centimeter. So 4 lakh divided by 10, 40,000. So 1 centimeter will take 40,000 units. On x axis, 1 centimeter, 40,000 units. So 10 centimeter, 40,000 into 10, 4 lakh. That's what we require. 4 lakh units we require. On y axis, the total sales are 60 lakh. The total sales are 60 lakh and this 60 lakh we have to adjust in 10 centimeter. So 60 lakh divided by 10 is 6 lakh. So 1 centimeter will take 6 lakh on y axis. Now this is the graph. On x axis we have taken the output. Output 40,000. 1 centimeter 40,000 we have fixed. So 40. 1 centimeter 40,000. Next 40 plus 40, 80. Then 80 plus 40, 120. 120 plus 40, 160. 160 plus 40, 200. 200 plus 40, 240. 240 plus 40, 280. 280 plus 40, 320. 320 plus 40, 360. 360 plus 40, 400. 400 means 4 lakh. 3 zeros omitted. So 4 lakh units we have taken on x axis. On y axis we take 1 centimeter is equal to 6 lakh. 1 centimeter is equal to 6 lakh. So 6 lakh, then rupees sales and total cost, rupees in lakhs. Lakhs consist of 5 zeros. So remove 5 zeros, we'll get 6. 6 lakh, 1 centimeter, 6 lakh. 6 lakh may 5 zeros. Remove the 5 zeros, we'll take 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. 60 lakhs. That's all. The, these are the sales and total cost. Now we draw the break even chart first of all we have to draw the fixed cost line how much is the total fixed cost 6 lakh so from 6 lakh draw a straight line parallel to x axis straight line parallel to x axis this is the straight line parallel to x axis this is the fixed cost line this is the fixed cost line fixed cost now total sales line at 4 lakh units, what is the total sales? 60 lakh. At 4 lakh units, 60 lakh rupees are the sales. Here 4 lakh units. So above this 4 lakh, against 60 lakh, put a mark. Above 4 lakh, against 60 lakh, put a mark. From this mark, join up to the origin. From this mark, straight line join up to the origin. Origin is here, 0. 0 is the origin. From here to straight line, you will get total sales line. Now, total cost line. The total cost is 46 lakh. So now, find out where is 46. 46 will be here, somewhere. 42, 48. Below 48, you will get 46. So against this 46, above this 400. Above this 4 lakh units. 4 lakh units ke open. Or against 46 put a mark from this mark join a straight line up to the point of intersection of fixed cost up to the point of intersection of fixed cost line the fixed cost line is intersecting here so this total cost should be joined up to here don't join at the origin origin says total sales line the total cost will be from fixed cost now the two lines are intersecting at a point. The total sales line and total cost line are intersecting at a point. From the point of intersection, draw two perpendiculars. One perpendicular on x-axis, one perpendicular on y-axis. The perpendicular on x-axis will give you break-even point in units. So I have drawn a perpendicular, dotted perpendicular on x-axis. It is meeting at 120. 120 means 1,20,000. Three zeros are omitted. 
तो वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड यूनिट इज द बीईपी इन यूनिट ना बीईपी इन रूपीज ड्रॉ परपेंडिकुलर ऑन वाई एक्सिस डॉटेड परपेंडिकुलर ऑन वाई एक्सिस इट इज मीटिंग एट एटीन तो एटीन लैख रूपीज दीज आर द रूपीज इन लैक्स तो बीईपी इज एटीन लैख रूपीज एंड बीईपी इज वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड यूनिट तो वी आर गेटिंग बोथ बीईपी इन यूनिट एंड बीईपी इन रूपीज एक्स एक्सिस पर बीपी यूनिट वाई एक्सिस बीपी रूपीज एटीन लैख रूपीज इज द बीपी एंड वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इज द बीपी यूनिट सो दिस चार्ट इज कॉल्ड ब्रेक इवन चार्ट नाउ वन मोर ग्राफ वी आर रिक्वायर टू मेक इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज आस्किंग यू टू मेक पीवी ग्राफ प्रॉफिट वॉल्यूम ग्राफ फॉर ड्रॉइंग प्रॉफिट वॉल्यूम ग्राफ वी नीड टू पॉइंट वन पॉइंट Uh, two points at sales and profit. We want the sales and profit at two different points. So profit is nothing but sales minus total cost. The total sales are sixty lakh and the total cost is forty six lakh. Here we have calculated. The total sales are sixty lakh and total cost is forty six lakh. And sales minus total cost is the profit. Sales minus total cost is the profit. तो so 14 लाख रुपीस प्रॉफिट व्हेन वी आर गेटिंग 14 लाख प्रॉफिट व्हेन वी आर सेलिंग 4 लाख यूनिट्स व्हेन वी सेल 4 लाख यूनिट्स वी आर गेटिंग अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ 14 लाख वन पॉइंट वी गॉट वी गॉट अ पेयर व्हाट इज द पेयर एट अ सेल्स ऑफ 4 लाख यूनिट्स और यू कैन से एट अ सेल्स ऑफ 60 लाख रुपीस एट अ सेल्स ऑफ 60 लाख रुपीस वी आर गेटिंग अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ 14 लाख Now we need two points of profit level. At four lakh units, profit will be fourteen lakh. Instead of four lakh units, I will take rupees sixty lakh sales. At rupees sixty lakh rupees of sales, the profit is fourteen lakh. At rupees zero sales. At rupees zero sales, there is a loss of six lakh. If there is no sale at all, we will not get the revenue, but we will incur the cost. Which cost will be incurred? The fixed cost. Fixed cost is a cost that has to be paid whether we sell or not, whether we sell four lakh units or whether we sell zero unit. We have to pay the fixed cost. The fixed cost will remain same. So. If there is no sale at all, if there are zero sales, still we are incurring a cost of six lakh rupees. That is a loss because no revenue, but there is a cost. What is that cost? Fixed cost. Fixed cost. How much? Six lakh. That means if the sales are zero, there is a loss of six lakh. If there is a sale of sixty lakh rupees, we are getting a profit of fourteen lakh. So two different profits. at two different level of sales that's what we require for pv graph now how to draw the pv graph on x axis we should take the sales on y axis we should take the profit y axis we are taking the profit this is the y axis profit profit or loss profit or loss will take on y axis and sales we will take it on x axis what is the maximum sales 60 lakh maximum sales total sales are 60 lakh so 1 cm i am taking 6 lakh 1 cm 6 lakh so you can see 6 12 18 24 30 36 42 48 54 60 so 60 lakh rupees sales on x axis now y axis i am taking the profit what is the profit here 14 lakh 14 lakh rupees is the profit now arbitrarily i am taking 1 cm is equal to 2 lakh because in 7 cm we can be able to get 14 lakh 1 cm 2 lakh so here on y axis 1 cm 2 lakh then 2 cm 4 lakh 3 cm 6 lakh 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 14 in 7 cm i have taken 14 14 lakh rupees is the same right but there is negative profit also negative profit ka matlab loss so we are having a loss of 6 lakh to so downward third quadrant 
in a graph paper there are four quadrants first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant so in the fourth quadrant i am taking in the fourth quadrant i am taking minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 that means minus 2 means 2 lakh rupees loss minus 4 4 lakh rupees loss minus 6 6 lakh rupees loss so we are having 6 lakh rupees loss so i have extended downward so this is positive profit this is negative profit negative profit means loss negative profit means loss now <clears throat> now i have to drop two points the first point is 14 lakh rupees profit i am getting when the sales are 60 lakhs when sales are 60 lakh rupees the profit is 14 lakh so here 60 lakh rupees sales here profit is 14 lakh so against this 14 lakh above 60 so above 60 against 14 put a mark 14 lakh rupees profit 60 lakh rupees sales now there is a loss of 6 lakh rupees when the sales are zero when the sales are zero there is a loss of 6 lakh rupees so here you can see the sales are zero here the sales are zero so the loss is minus 6 so against minus 6 put a mark here beside minus 6 put a mark here now we have two points the first point is here and the second point is here straight line join these two points with the help of a straight line join these two points these two points are intersecting at x axis the line is intersecting at x axis at a point and that point of intersection will give you BEP now you can see this straight line is intersecting the x axis at a point 18 at the point 18 the line is intersecting and this 18 lakh rupees is the BEP 18 lakh rupees is the BEP same thing we got here also 18 lakh rupees is the BEP so BEP we can find either by drawing break even chart or by drawing PV graph the purpose of drawing PV chart or break even chart is same to find out the break even point. So we can find BP either by this BP chart or by PV graph. So this is the method of finding out the BP by using PV graph. So we have completed 40 problems on marginal costing. All the problems are based on the formula. So my suggestion to the students, to the viewers who are genuinely interested in gaining the knowledge, in getting the command on the subject is first you watch the introduction part, theory part, then starting one, two, three videos, if you continuously watch, you'll get a good command. Later on, if you are more interested in acquiring knowledge, see the, up to the last 40 problems. Definitely, you can, you'll, be, you'll be more confident on the subject. So hope you are satisfied with my lecture if you are satisfied give a like to the video share it in your group in your friend circle so that more students can get the benefit and uh, give your comments subscribe if you have not yet subscribed my channel i'll start the next topic in the next video till then take care goodbye